Hey guys, so it is another day of vlog week and I figured I would go ahead and share with you guys um, pretty much the behind the scenes of me putting together my office. Um, I have some old clips pretty much of um, my design plans for the office. We're kind of displaying where I want things to go, the overall idea, the overall vibe of the office which I will go ahead and insert here. So here is what we are starting off with. Now, I do wanna note that I have already added in two things into this office before we even got started with the actual transformation. Um, I actually purchased this dresser here as well as a brand new vanity desk because I needed space for storage, okay? So you guys know in my old office in our apartment, I pretty much had all my makeup in um, my little Alex drawers, which I actually moved over here to this wall. But um, I did not want to keep my makeup in there because first of all, my makeup collection has pretty much outgrown this. Um, and also I did need an actual legitimate work desk, like a place I can actually sit and edit or sit and do work for my job and things like that. That is pretty much what this space here is for. And so because I moved the drawers over into this desk here, um, I needed a new space for makeup storage. And I didn't wanna do like, I know everyone does like the pack systems and all that, which they're cool, but to me they're way too bulky and they're just like, they're practical, but they're not, they're not the most appealing things to me in my opinion. And so I have these drawers because they're nice and wide. Um, and perfect for all my makeup storage, like perfect for um, palettes, powders, lashes, all of that. So I pretty much just have this full of makeup. Okay, so over here is pretty much gonna be the backdrop for my video. So this wall here is going to be the backdrop, which is why this is behind, or will be behind my desk. So I'm storing all of the main makeup there, but, I did want to have a space that I could just come in and get ready. Like if I'm just taking it real chill, just like me and Deanna are going on a date night or just getting ready for the day, I want to have a space I could just come and just like sit at and do makeup. And so I bought this other um, vanity here. Both are from Ikea and I bought this one here to pretty much be like my everyday go-to makeup situation and I love this one this is the mom vanity table and I love this one because it has a glass top which is perfect for keeping makeup off oh and of course I have like my vanity mirror and all that kind of stuff okay so y'all know I'm a very visual person I have to like kind of see how it's going to be laid out and how it's going to look before I even put things up. And so I actually did this little bootleg sketch in my notepad of pretty much how I want the space to look. Now this wall, just imagine this wall here being this wall there, okay? So I have my dresser, that's already there. Now I want like a really cool, like just so, just like a pop, just something that was just so bomb, that was so me and that I don't really see or that I haven't really seen anywhere. And I knew the color palette that I wanted to do, which I'll show you guys here in a second, but I was like, it would be really cool if I got like a neon sign with my name to go above the dresser. So I ordered one from Etsy and it came in yesterday, you guys. And just look at how amazing it looks. It looks so good. And so here is the sign. And let me go ahead and plug it up real quick. And there it is, isn't it, y'all? Isn't this so nice? It is so nice. So the idea is that I'll have the neon sign up on the wall, okay? And then I'll probably have like maybe this vase or another vase like here, or like a plant or something here. Maybe like a little candle on the on the uh, dresser. And then over here, I actually bought this really cool. Um, like wall mounted ladder shelf, but it pretty much like comes off the wall. You guys will see whenever it's all installed. But I'm gonna have that there on the side and just have, you know, cute little knickknacks, like maybe some foundation, some little trinkets, some little trays, maybe some little jewelry, you know, just stuff that represents me, you know, fashion, beauty, really cute decor, all of that. 
So that is pretty much my plan for this wall here. I'll have my filming table here in the center for this. Hey y'all, I'll raggedy today. Uh, but for this wall here, I plan on getting like a really nice, um, wide framed, full length leaner mirror. Like I said, this will pretty much be like my actual work desk where I can actually sit in like package orders, um, edit videos, do actual work because I want a space I can just like literally sit down and focus. So that is why this is there. And I love that the room is so big so I can do like a million different things with this space. So for here, I plan on um, doing like a gallery wall, but y'all check this out, this is gonna be so dope, okay. So I'm going to do a gallery wall, but I really, I have been dying to create a gallery wall of pictures of iconic black beauty and fashion icons. Like I, first of all, I love, love, love vintage photos. And so I actually went online, I went on Google and on Pinterest and found some really dope um, black and white images of just iconic black women who were known for their style and fashion and beauty. Um, so women like, I think I have, so far I have four images. I have Diana Ross, Dorothy Dandridge, Eartha Kitt, and oh, Diane Carroll. And I bought these frames here from Ikea. They're actually this frame, there's the name, can't pronounce it. But I took the glass and the backing out because I'm actually about to spray paint these just to tie these in better with the decor. But as you can see, there's one and I plan on doing one, two, three, four. And then um, this wall here. Okay, so this is going to be the accent wall of the room, you guys, which ah, just, just wait until you guys see it come together. And this is pretty much how I came up with the design for this room is because of this wallpaper mural right here. It's so cool, I love it. Y'all, these are my tones. That'll be going up on this wall. And then I'll have my vanity mirror here. I'm gonna move over the clothing rack a little bit more towards the vanity table. Probably leave the mannequin in there and just dress it up to style it to match the room. Not quite sure, but that's pretty much the idea for this space. Of course, a new nicer chair. Just make it look really nice and glam. So those are pretty much my design plans as far as like, what I've kind of envisioned in my head for the office, but now it's time to actually start putting it together. And so um, I'm doing a bit of a DIY project. Actually, it's like two small DIY projects. Um, I ordered a shelf, which you guys saw that I have a little area in my office next to the dresser I bought, which is in. Um, and I have to assemble it before I did, I actually wanna spray paint the, the railing on the shelf, I guess you can call it. Here it is out here. I already went ahead and set it up, but um, pretty much it was just way too gold. Actually, I just go outside. Um, excuse me if the wind is a bit loud. So there are the pieces for the shelves and they're honestly not that bad. Like I could probably get away with them, but to me, they're just a little bit too light. Like I actually want them to be more brass and less gold. So I'm gonna actually just spray paint them. I'm gonna use the same spray paint that I used whenever I did the light fixture, which was the champagne bronze spray paint from Rosellium. I'm gonna use that for this. And then I also have these picture frames. They're four pictures that I got from Ikea and I'm gonna do something really cool with them. But same thing like with the shelf, it's just a little bit too gold. Try to keep the gold to a minimum in the office. Okay, so here's a quick glimpse at what I meant um, in terms of that I wanted to darken it just a bit. So here are the spray painted ones and then like there are the old ones. So see how it's like a little bit darker just to kind of mute it down a little bit. And I don't know, I just prefer the brass finish 10 times more. All right, y'all, so I finished all of my projects. I actually ended up doing like two other things that I did not plan on doing. Um, so there are the brass um, handles, rails, whatever for the shelf. Um, so it's over there drying. I also went ahead and spray painted. I had this old lamp um, that I had from our, well, I had it in our old apartment, but whenever I redid my office at the old apartment, I had ended up putting it in storage because I didn't end up using it. Um, but now I think it'd be a good light for 
my work desk but it was like a copper like a rose gold copper color and i wasn't quite feeling it so i spray painted that part um bronze with the same spray paint and then um here are the frames that i got from ikea i sprayed them i don't know where the paint is but i sprayed them like this um almost purplish grayish color You'll see whenever they're hung up, but um, I love, love, love the color. I didn't want to just do a whole bunch of bronze everywhere because that to me is, y'all know I have a little more character than that and I kind of wanted to just change it up. So I did this color and then for those frames, I actually went ahead and spray painted the mats for the pictures because the pictures will be black and white. So I spray painted these a really pretty spray. I use this one here, it's called Satin Ballet Slipper. So I just use that to spray paint the mats so pretty much it'll be like the black and white photos with the pink mats and then the topish grayish frames, which I think will look really, really good in this space because we're trying to like, you know, incorporate the different shades of pink and brown and things like that. So that is what I've done so far. So it is later in the evening. It is, I think it's like 6.30. I don't know, I'm trying to, 6.45, I'm trying to wrap this up. Um, but I have been sitting here for the past like 30, no, probably almost an hour now trying to put together this shelf. I'm trying to put it together tonight. I've actually I've actually had it sitting in like, this is our junk area for now, which is like by the front of the house. Um, but I ordered this shelf, this ladder shelf on Amazon. It's been sitting down here for weeks now and I have been procrastinating on putting it together, but I want to go ahead and put it together because um, we have someone coming tomorrow to um, install our blinds that came in today. So we got, let me put the light on. So we got our blinds in this morning and I'm so excited because they look so good. Um, I opened up one, I can't really open up the rest of them because the boxes are actually like, whenever we measured all of the windows, we labeled the windows so you, you, know, you know which measurement goes to which window. So like there's like, you know, breakfast nook left, breakfast nook center. So anyways, so the labels are on the boxes so we had to keep them in the box. So here's the one that I opened up earlier and me and Dion actually went a different route when it came to our blinds or our shades. Um, we actually, so we went to Lowe's, like picked out a shade that we both liked. Um, I knew that I, of course he wanted blinds or shades or something because you need privacy and also because here in Texas, the summer is brutal and we have a ton of windows so like our ac bill would be on 100 if we didn't have some sort of blind or shade there but i knew that i didn't want to do like traditional blinds because um you guys are working from home and so i want as much natural light as possible um and also i just like i wanted a lot of natural light so i wanted something that could easily go up and down like that's what i want something easily goes up and down um but I feel like with normal blinds, it's like you can open them, but I feel like the actual blinds themselves still block out a lot of light. And you can also like, you know, use the cord to pull it up and down. But I don't know about me, I hate using the cord because I always get it messed up. I always end up almost breaking the blinds because I can never figure out which angle to hold it to let the blinds drop in. Who wants to do that every day? Not me. So we went to Lowe's and we actually found these shades that actually called cellular shades and you can get them with the cord or you can pay a bit more to get them cordless and we um went the cordless route because we just like cordless would be a lot cleaner and a lot sleeker and so we went and we got the cordless cellular shades and they look like this okay so they actually look like normal blinds, right? And that's one thing that Dion liked because he didn't want to do like normal shades because he just hates the look of shades. So we found something that gave him the look that he likes, but that gave me the convenience that I like, which is perfect. So we got these here and they're super cool because literally all you have to do is just pull them down and watch this, you just push it up. So in the morning I wake up, I want a lot of sunshine, Go to the windows, I just push it up to open the window and then at nighttime we want privacy, we just easily pull it back down. 
but instead of going through um lows because we got a quote from them and the quote was like way more than you want to spend <laughs> so instead of going through lows we actually went through blinds.com um to get the blind which was a lot cheaper okay so now i'm working on putting together this bookshelf and i already have three of the five shelves done so i'm almost done it's just taking me such a long time so it is a really cool bookshelf again got it on amazon and this says it's supposed to take 30 minutes which is a lie but i do really 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 do like how the brass turned out i think it looks really cool and just nice and a lot cleaner and a lot better than the gold that it came in so I'm really, really pleased. Hey guys, so I'm currently in my office. Oh, I'm frustrated. But while we're up here, um, I wanted to show you guys during the day whenever it's light outside, but it's at night and um, today's the last day of vlog week. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys just real quickly um, the wallpaper that I picked for my office. I don't think I've shown it in the other clips, Hopefully I haven't because we repetitive. <laughs> All right, so I told you guys earlier about how um, I had had someone come in and install the wallpaper, but I don't believe that I actually showed the actual finished product. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, here is the wallpaper that I had installed. And you guys, it looks so good. I love it so much. Um, I wanted something that was, you know, bold, feminine, chic you know but still mature you know and something that wasn't like too girly and i just like this dark floral print just or dark floral wall mural just looked amazing like i just love the tones how it has the black you know that sage green you know those pink and mauvey tones with like the the gold accents it just looks so good and i love 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 how it came out it looks freaking amazing like I'm obsessed with it and I told you guys that pretty much the vibe in here is going to be well aside from the wallpaper um I'm gonna be doing like different shades of pink so like here's an example right here that's just like a little small example it's not even really done but just so you guys can kind of get the vibe like pretty much I want to do like different shades of pink and beige and brown in here um so that was like I was playing with that those coffee table books but I don't know if I'm using them or not but um, just to give you guys an idea as far as the color scheme. Um, here are the chairs that I purchased for, um, well, okay, so I have three sitting areas. I have my work desk, my filming desk, my vanity. So here's my work desk, it looks a mess. Uh, my vanity as well as my work desk over there. And then I also found this pillow here from Target. It's like a really pretty rust orange color. No, I showed you guys this the other day. That accent pillow, I just went ahead and put on this ghost chair. Not 100% sure if I will keep it right there, but for now it's just sitting there. Um, I am, or sorry, I did order some rugs. Like this is my old one. And I actually love like the faux fur shag carpet. Um, and so I actually found a similar one um, on Amazon. But of course, when it is a um, a color that actually goes with the theme and color decor of the office, like this is purple, so it's not gonna stay in here. Um, but I did find like a really pretty coffee colored one um, to go in the room. So we'll see how that it looks whenever it comes in. I don't have it yet, but we'll see how it looks tomorrow when it comes in. Um, I actually got two. I got like a smaller one to go over there by the vanity and then one over here by the filming desk. Um, mainly because I needed something to protect the carpet because when I'm doing makeup, like I drop stuff all the time. And the last thing I wanna do is stain up and mess up this brand new carpet. All right, so the curtains right now are just currently laying on the floor in the media room. Um, mainly because uh, I ironed them out earlier so that way they can be nice and ready to go whenever the guy comes and hangs them tomorrow. I do not do wrinkly curtains, so of course took the time to actually um, iron them out but they're like a really pretty blush pink color now granted it looks different in different lighting just so you guys can kind of get an idea of what I'm going for let me take these real quick <clears throat> the idea is just to have like different shades of pink um, and brown and beige kind of matching so just imagine like these up you know against the wall and then you have like this chair and like a really pretty coffee colored rug and i plan on of course color coordinating my clothing rack because i'm extra um but that's the idea 
of the space. So yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it for day five of vlog week. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and also enjoyed all the vlogs um, that I posted throughout the week. Um, if you guys did, give this video and all the other videos a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel if you have not already. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.